I think this is really going to hurt. Off you go. Alrighty folks, this is Lurch from Maryland Gaming and welcome back to another episode of From the Depths, where I've been building pointlessly stupidly big cannons because the large loaders all got a little bit of a buff to how fast they reload and I figured I probably should give them a try. This was actually my second attempt. My first attempt is sitting in an invisible box over there and got a lot more love and attention than this fella. This is a 4 meter, 500 millimeter cannon. It fires at 100 RPM and it fires this pretty nasty shell right here. It is 500 millimeters, 4 meters, 18 meter barrel, 16 meter propellant burn, um, 200 meters per second muzzle velocity, which is pretty good. It's not too slow, it's not too fast. It has a whopping pile of explosive and flak damage and I've used a mixed shell just to try and compensate a little bit for the diminishing returns. They kind of work out okay. I think it sort of favours the explosive a little bit. You should probably go a little bit heavier on HE compared to flak. But, I don't know. This seems to work really, really well. And I'm going to demonstrate it right now. So, let's get something pretty hefty. Now, this, as I say, totally impractical, massively explosive. Has no armour. So I'm turning the AI off. And this is strictly a damage test, so let's get something pretty stompy in. I've been using the deep water, or deep water guard, not stompy enough. White flares. Uh, desecrators are normally pretty good, but you have to be really fast turning the AI off because they spew out stuff at an alarming rate and can get you killed pretty quickly. Yeah, it was fast enough. And off it goes. Now those are pretty big ass shells to be going at that fire rate, and look at the damage. Isn't that beautiful? Shields? Pa! What shields? Who cares about shields? They're also totting an inertial fuse. <laughs> so, nothing really has much of a chance. If it can be hit by these, it's gonna die. The only thing is, if it takes one or two shots, that's it, good night Irene, it goes up like a firework. Very, very explosive. But it does a pretty good job. And makes a hefty mess of even these really, really quite powerful ships. But yeah, that's the 4 meter variant. Pretty nice. Does quite a lot of damage. A little bit more practical than the other thing that I'm about to show you now. But it's something you might actually feasibly put onto a ship. Let's have a quick look at the inside. Let's despawn this guy. And look at the actual internals just quickly before we move on to the other thing. This is a pretty simple cannon. I basically used the gauge snake or a as a connecting block to connect all of the loaders. And there's actually two sneaky loaders. There's one there and one there stuck on the inside because I had loads of space and I actually plunked them in at the very end. And it's just a very rough skeleton. I built this first and then just stuck the auto loaders on the side. Pretty easy way to design cannons. Uh, now, obviously the um, the template on the round the outside here is actually for the other cannon. Like I say, I built this afterwards. And it didn't get quite as much attention as the other one. It's not as finely balanced, and it's certainly not as powerful. So, we have the 4 meter stupidity. Time for the really fun stuff. This is the 8 meter stupidity. I really don't know what else to call it. It is just daft. It is absolutely ridiculous. This thing fires an 8 meter shell. Really quite fast. 243. It's pretty accurate. And it fires it at about 300 rounds per minute. Yeah, pretty crazy. Using a base blader to get a little bit of extra oomph out of the shell and an inertial fuse. And this ha thing is just front loaded with three HE warheads to detonate shields. And the rest is actually frag warheads. The reason I'm stacking frags so heavily is because they don't suffer from diminishing returns in high ex in, in advanced cannon shells. So if you can afford to put loads of something in, it's frag warheads. These do a crazy amount of damage once the shields are down. Let's uh, let's get the same desecrator in and see what happens to it this time. Yeah, that's quite a few shells in the air, right? I think this is really gonna hurt. Off you go. 
and now we have mindless destruction. Very hard to see what's actually happening because of all the pointless amount of explosive shells. That short delay was just giving it time to re-aim the cannon. Oh, let's find something else to kill. That bit's dead. That bit's dead. Back to this bit. It just hasn't got a chance. It makes a savage mockery of just about anything you point it at. So, oh, there, yeah. And that's it despawning. That was about, what, 20 seconds? Not bad for a desecrator. Well, maybe 30 seconds. Let's try something else. Pretty fun, just picking things to shoot at. Bulwarks are always a good uh, thing to test against, because they take absolutely ages to kill. But this does a pretty good job of killing them, too. Where are you, Mr. Bulwark? Off you go. Because of the lack of shields, we get just confetti. So many blocks, destruction everywhere. Every shell that lands takes out at least a turret. <laughs> and there's so, so, so many of them. And it just doesn't ever stop. It just keeps firing constantly, all the time, does loads of damage. Loads and loads and loads and loads of damage. Very, very funny. But what I'm going to do for you guys is put a massive block of armor around this. And I mean massive block of armor and tons of shields. And then I'm going to let it shoot at a bunch of stuff and make pretty explosions. And then probably cut it into a montage of some kind. But before I do that, I would like to show just what happens whenever this thing does get shot at. And there's actually a debug explode option. You press Z in your items menu. There's... Oh, hang on. That's not in there. Aha! Skills. There you are. These debug things. These are all really useful skills. Uh, the explosion's handy. It lets you blow stuff up. Repair. Repairs blocks. Very useful. Impact is for ramming into things. Death ray just destroys stuff. And teleport is for teleporting around the place. Uh, not so useful whenever you can already teleport. Let's explodify this. Nope, I didn't get it. Not enough. Not enough. Come on, you. Oh, there it goes. Give it a second. <laughs> and it's all gone. Bye, Mr. Massively Expensive Turret. It'll take a little while. But it does a little bit of damage to the outside as well. <laughs> it just takes a bit to catch up. <laughs> and now we're catching up again. But it doesn't take a lot to blow it up, unfortunately. That's why I'm going to put it in a massive metal box. So, I do hope you enjoyed the episode. And you enjoy the upcoming montage. Any likes, subs or comments are really, really awesome. I love hearing from you guys. And I read every single comment. As always, take it handy. And have a bloody good day.